The current hardship citizens face over the inaccessibility of cash is alarmingly increasing, leading to many waiting on long queues for hours just to access the cash. Plus, TV News correspondent Emmanuel Olubogoku was on the streets to get the reaction of Nigerians over the challenges they face in accessing cash. It's been weeks since the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, declared the old 500 1,000 Naira notes as a liquid tender to reduce the hardship citizens face in making use of funds. Recall that December last year, the CBN declared that the old note will not be in use by January 2023, allowing the redesigned Naira notes to be the only ones in use. This led to a series of crises in the form of process and long queues at banks and ATMs. However, despite the intervention by President Buhari and the Supreme Court to allow for the use of the old Naira note till December 31, 2023, citizens still face their challenges in assessing cash from the various banks. Long queues can be seen at various banks with citizens finding it difficult to assess their cash. Some individuals speak about the challenges they face while trying to withdraw from their banks and ATMs, noting how they have to wait long hours just to get the cash as network at times isn't available to do transfers. Actually, the problem we are facing in Nigeria is getting much. Look at the only one machine that is working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not easy. I don't know why our leaders decide to treat us this way. Uh, it's not that the cashless have made the economy to improve. This day, everything is getting worse. The cash withdrawal uh, is, is actually a problem. It's causing a lot of problems in Nigeria. We are using our own money to buy, as in using our own Nigerian money to buy Nigerian money again. Why? Because most of the ATM, the POS users, as in agents, they charge a lot of money. Even imagine somebody withdrawing 5,000, you have to pay like uh, uh, 1,500 to get your 5,000. Market this morning, you know, to get some few stuff. But I can't because I needed cash. Transportations, movement, except maybe you want to go through maybe Uber to other, to other Uber or boats and stuff like that. But like, you know, our everyday life in Lagos, you know how we move in Nigeria, yeah. So definitely I will have to, you know, to, to take Uber or boat. But not everybody is having that means to want to you know, to go through Uber or boat. Amongst the individuals who spoke with Plus TV News was Patrick Nyekachi, who expressed his grievances, noting that he would prefer his money being given him and he keeping it under his pillow. I cannot enter transfer, I cannot eat what I'm about to eat. For what? I'm, I'm there now. They said they will be paying 50000 No money there again. I'm here now. Can you know that the sun? With my own sweat. It's very, very obvious. I'm not happy. They should withdraw my own and give to me from all my banks. Zenergy and assets, give it to me, let me put it under my bed and spend it by myself. Before the Bekong and the federal government to find a lasting solution to the current hardship Nigerians are facing as regards cash accessibility. I think um, the government needs to create an avenue or make the cash available for the moment, for the time being. So as time goes on, you could let the people know or find a, a, a different means, you know, to pass the information or to teach the people. Because at the end of the day, the, uh, the, it's all about the people and the people are affected. Is that since the antenna is already uh, 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 almost done, they should just pack their thing and move. Because they are afraid of Nigeria. This is not what we are, Nigeria was expecting from them. It's, however, imperative that the government find a lasting solution to the current crisis to enable citizens to assess cash with ease. Emmanuel Ulububukun, Plus TV News.